Hi everybody. Welcome back. So today what we're going to work on is pivoting at angles and then also sewing curves. And a great way to do that is just like if you, when you would try and learn how to draw something, a lot of times you would trace something. So what we're going to do is trace something on the fabric. So what you need is make sure you get your two pieces of fabric, okay? And it's a good idea to press your fabric with an iron, a lot of steam if your fabric can handle it. Actually, let's go do that right now. Right, so we got our fabric all steamed and pressed because sewing stuff with wrinkles in it is not a good idea. But, okay, so let's draw onto our fabric. Now, I've got some old scrap fabric here. It's the old sheet that I talked about before. Just get something that you can just fuck around with. It doesn't matter if you fuck up on it or anything like that, okay? Get you a pen, pencil, whatever you've got that can draw in there. I wouldn't use a Sharpie because that line can be a little too thick, but you know, whatever you've got laying around. So what we're going to do is just draw something with angles and curves, you know, so we just go, doesn't have to be too like pin straight, but we'll just draw in here just so we can have something to trace. And sorry about the camera shake. But here we go. So here we'll get a little curve in here. Again, doesn't have to be precise, but all right. So I'll finish up drawing this and meet you back at the sewing machine. Welcome to back to your sewing machine. All right, so we got our lines traced, not traced, but drawn out, you know what I mean. And so we're just gonna go ahead and trace with our stitches on the sewing machine and when we get to angles, we'll turn. So I've got my machine all threaded, everything's in, and I've got my stitch length set to two and a half. That's the most common length that you'll use for a lot of stuff. If you wanna make it longer, go for it. It is quite all right. All right, so away we go. Whoops, sorry about knocking that. I'm stitching in weird situations. Never had a camera all up in my shit, but here we go. All right, gang. So, now when you're stitching on these straightaways, you can go as fast, as slow as you want. If you gotta go at a turtle pace, that is quite all right. So here we go, we come up to our corner. Now what you wanna do is you wanna stop with that needle down, okay? And then we're gonna just make sure you have the needle down. You don't wanna pivot with the needle up. It'll result in some funkiness and you'll just have to pick it out. So I don't know if you can see, but I am right there on that corner, which is good. And right now we're just really working on um, pivoting, not necessarily matching up those corners. So we just, all I did, sorry, all I did was I lifted that presser foot and I just rotated it to the angle that I needed to go. And then so we're just, and we're off. And then when you get there, if you can master pivoting while you're sewing, more power to you. But hey, I don't have that skill, so. Okay. And then let me go ahead up and finish these angles. And we'll get to the curvy bits. Okay, so we got our first angles done. Now let's get to the curvy parts. So we're just gonna start on the straightaway part. And then when I get to the curves, it's kind of like you're slowly 
using your fingers to kind of move things and get that curve going. If you've got to go stitch by stitch, if you've got to hand crank it, whatever you need to do to get that curve, it's fine. Again, this is not a race. This is about building a skill. So here we go. So I'm going to go a little slow and really, let's see if we can get this to go. And we're not about perfection, it's about progress. So the last time we matched, all we did was a straight line. And guess what? Now we're doing a curve. Look at us go. Look at us go. But if you see, I'm just kind of manipulating, whoops, sorry for hitting that, manipulating that fabric around. And I'm not racing. It's about getting that line where it needs to be. Trying not to do a lead foot on my pedal here. But, whoop, all right. So we made that chart. Hell yeah. And you can probably guess what I've spelled out on my magic fabric here. And yeah, it's a little before that turn, but that's okay. It's doing this more for expedience rather than being precise. So I'm not taking up too much y'all's time. So those are just some more angles. And now we're going to have a turn the other way. Yeah, I'll go back and just do one more stitch. So, boop. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I keep hitting the damn camera. You saw what I had to, what I'm doing to try and get this shot. Lord have mercy. All right, so we're gonna go a little fast on these straightaways. And then it's just kind of the opposite of what I did here. I'm gonna go and manipulate it this way. That's a little tighter curve. And I can be a bit of a lead foot if I don't watch out. So just kind of, kind of, Go a little slow, as you can see, sometimes things jump. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put the needle down a little bit, just because this is a little bit of a tight curve, and then not really make an angle, but just kind of slowly, if I can get it to go, and then we kind of bring that needle up, and then I'm twisting it back, so that way when the feed dogs go and gather, it's gonna still make that curve. So even if you gotta work it a little bit, it is all good to go. All right, again, we're working on progress. We are not gonna be perfect straight out of the gate. All right, so here we go. And my goodness, I say okay so a lot. I'm gonna try and slow that down a little bit, y'all. So let me go ahead and finish up this and I'll show you what we did. But when you're doing lines and stuff, if you wanna make a maze, if you wanna make a bunch of waviness, go for it. Do whatever you wanna make. Knocking that shit again. Okay. All right, everybody. I'll finish this up and then I'll show you what we got. <laughs> Whoops. Guess what? You just sewed a thing. Another thing. And you did turns. And you did curves. Fuck yeah. All right. Here's what I did. Is it perfect? Nope, it's not, but that's okay. What I did is I turn, made some turns. I made some curves. I had some wonky bits, but you know what? I still did a thing and that's fucking awesome, okay? If I was to do this, if I was to work on like 
a pattern or something if I was making clothes. I probably would have took more time with this and you know I'll probably be stitching some shit again but you know what for the purpose of the accessor exercise I did the thing and that's freaking great again progress folks not perfection you are learning a skill you cannot expect to be a master sewer right off the bat unless you have been blessed with some kind of gene or something but you did good you learned a skill we did something besides just straight lines heck fuck yeah share with me what you did on instagram hashtag you so can follow me at you.so.can on instagram as well like subscribe and ring that bell and I will see you all next week.